Returning to my Coin Lady channel, I am pleased to see you again. A XRP FUD architect is someone who intentionally sows doubt and misinformation about XRP or other cryptocurrencies in order to manipulate market prices or influence sentiment. The motivations behind these campaigns can range from manipulating prices to sowing distrust in terms of actual compensation, which can vary greatly depending on the type of entity involved. In the media industry, for instance, influencers and journalists may earn money from sponsors or through indirect advertising revenue. In the market, short sellers and manipulators could make money off of falling XRP prices, although this is all very risky speculation. Lobbyists or public relations agencies retained by rival projects may get the going fee for their services, which, depending on the scope and length of the campaign, might be anything from a few thousand to six figures. As I've been saying the whole time, I believe that some of the original XRP influencers who suddenly stopped supporting XRP are being paid to do so. Plus, I get offers to discuss various cryptocurrencies in my direct messages on a daily basis, some of these deals sound too good to be true. Yeah, I've seen people offer $5,000 to make a 30-minute video about a single joke coin or anything. You know, I'm not the type to give in to pressure. I would never bring up a product or attempt to sell you something. I don't consider XRP and other utility-driven cryptocurrencies to be gambling, so I wouldn't put my money into them. Ignore the fear, uncertainty, and doubt, FUD, as you set yourself up for financial independence. Word on the street is that the FUD is becoming more intense. That's how I know XRP is about to explode in value. But these trolls are attempting to frighten you by flooding the market with XRP. The United Kingdom is leading the pack of countries rapidly adopting cryptocurrency, with lawmakers having introduced a bill to classify cryptocurrencies as personal property. In a moment, we will delve deeper into that topic. Next, a stable coin was launched in the UK by the end of 2024, in accordance with the planned worldwide coordination to bring digital assets clarity on a global scale. This is currently underway. This is why I'm stressing the need of the United States taking action. There must be stable coin laws initially. Following that, crypto reg regulations will be issued. They will arrive quickly. Their UK version is probably already written. To further define cryptocurrencies, their legal standing, ownership, digital assets, etc., a new law has been introduced to Parliament. Today, a bill was introduced in Parliament that will change the legal status of digital assets, including cryptocurrency NFTs, digital art, and carbon credits, to that of personal property. This is a first for the United Kingdom. You should have noticed that they also included carbon credits, this will only serve to further tax your cryptocurrency, as it is now viewed as property. It will be valuable, and I'm curious if this happens at the same time as that Starbucks in the UK is going cashless. How it began and where it is now, summerless. Keep in mind that while most of our UK stores still accept cash, starting October 1, 2024, we will only accept card contact lists and Starbucks rewards payments. This is because we work with a number of licensee business partners in the UK, so specifics may differ from store to store. At Starbucks, we anticipated this, but the trend toward a cashless world is pervasive. Cash allows you to evade their corrupt system, which is why digital money, digital transactions, and CBDC are desirable to them. Put simply, you desire to secede from the United States government and end their excessive taxation. We accept cash. Everything you do is in cash, from receiving payments, to making purchases, to evading taxes. This has been going on for a long time in the US, and I'm sure they're aware of how many people are still engaging in it. However, when CBDC and digital dollars arrive, things will suddenly change. For example, if you hire a contractor to fix your house, you might be able to negotiate a better price if you pay with cash. The Internal Revenue Service IRS, will be collecting taxes from both of your digital wallets at the same time now. For that reason, they are so invested in having us go to a CBDC. The United States will follow suit when the rest of the globe goes digital, we can already see this trend developing in other countries, such as the United Kingdom and the European Union. 
Our members will soon be able to trade digital assets and currencies on the SWIFT network with ease, thanks to the solutions we're laying the groundwork for. It would appear that SWIFT is now actively promoting tokenized assets in addition to digital assets. Quickly formulate strategies for CBDC and the tokenization of assets. To reiterate, SWIFT is determined to stay ahead of the curve. And further forward, there will be a handful of actors involved with SWIFT. Among these, Ripple will be included. I will also be using Chainlink. This is also where Stellar will be bound. Once again, though, SWIFT can do nothing but go on. And now we're beginning to believe that things will get steam again. Just when you think nothing is happening, announcements like this pop up out of nowhere. Since the cash lag and the implementation of DVP settlement are especially difficult with the widely used digital currency, we are investigating methods to link tokenized asset settlement with the associated payment transfer occurring on the SWIFT network. Tokenized forms of money, such as CBDCs, tokenized commercial bank money, or controlled stable coins, will be able to replace existing fiat currencies in the payment leg later on. Which stable coin is one of the ones that are regulated? Potential ripples, fresh ripples, US dollars, and US dollars, converted to cryptocurrency. As a result, you can see how SWIFT will collaborate with Ripple and Stellar. Our route to three-digit XRP already rippling is not dependent on XRP holders, you can see that. According to the business expert, the XRP ledger and XRP tokens are accessible to individual investors. Fast and efficient cross-border settlements and institutional-grade transactions are Ripple's principal goals. You said that early in August, after Ripple launched their new RLUSD stablecoin earlier this year, it entered a beta testing phase. Today, you will learn that the stablecoin will only ever be offered directly to institutional clients, as recently disclosed by David Schwartz, CTO of Ripple. Even though it was never intended for us to acquire XRP, we were able to do so because we were so ahead of the curve. Yet tremors. We are not primarily targeting individual investors. All throughout the globe, they are trying to get businesses, institutions, and banks to accept it. Since XRP is fundamental to Ripple's operations, boom, we stand to gain financially from this if it keeps happening. You can see that for yourself, 1,500 transactions per second on the Ripple private ledger, which you mention in your research report as being tested for digital euro. In 2022, there were unknown observation tests for digital euro and future transactions per second. Now, as Ripple pivots towards the Interledger protocol, it can suddenly handle 1 trillion transactions per second, enough to meet the demands of 8 billion people and more. Since the amount of transactions that can be processed is going to determine the outcome, it made the most sense for Ripple to pivot in that direction at this time. You are beginning to grasp the reasons behind this decision and how XRP will be utilized globally. Going ahead, scalability is the name of the game. You can see Monica's long-awaited confirmation that CBDCs would reside on new private ledgers that work in tandem with the XRP ledger, allowing XRP to serve as a bridge for interoperability with other currencies. With more than 5,400 tokens issued since the beginning, tokenization has always played an important role in the XRP ledger. CBDCs will exist on separate private ledgers that work in tandem with the XRP ledger, utilizing XRP as a link to facilitate interoperability with other currencies. Garden walls are obsolete. Someone will inevitably point out that XRP has just one price on the private ledger, which is $1,000. The price you see on the exchanges right now is the sole price. Once XRP finds traction, the price will naturally go off from here. For now, it's approximately 54 cents. I also predict that XRP will easily reach $1 in the next month or two as we enter alt season. From there, we will proceed upward. The viewer's presence here is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching my channel and for subscribing. I will see you later.